two interim coaches going head to head. Jim Hazlitt and Mike Singletary. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwood, CBS Sports' is Charlie Casserly. Glad to be with you on the NFL previews presented by Comcast. And Charlie, when you look at the Rams, you look at the 49ers, uh, Mike Singletary's team has uh, done more on the field with him than Jim Hazlitt's team has done with him at the helm. Is it just because the 49ers are a better team? Well, I think the 49ers are a better team. Uh, both teams need a lot of help going forward, but I do think the 49ers are a little better uh, football team. They're playing everybody tough, and they're, they're three and two in their last five. They had a shot to win at Miami. Uh, it was a close shot game to beat last Arizona week. Too. A shot to beat Arizona yeah. as well. Uh, Mike Singletary has done a great job, and I know we both think that he should be back moving forward. Now, uh, Charlie, the other part to this is uh, they've really improved. But in what areas have they improved? Well, to me, uh, offensively, they're not turning the ball over. When J.T. O'Sullivan was in there uh, and their passing attack was the focus of that offense, I thought they turned the ball over too much. Sean Hill is in there. Uh, Mike Singletary has asked the offense to be more conservative, so they're turning it over less. They're giving themselves a chance to win. Defensively, I think you see a team playing hard and with emotion and being physical uh, and concentrating more on one defense, the 34 defense. What about for St. Louis? Last week losing by a field goal to Seattle, giving up that lead. Uh, what do they need to do uh, in this game and then moving forward into next year? Well, I, I think let's, look, let's take the big picture going forward. I think they have a lot of critical needs. At the offensive tackle position, especially left tackle, Orlando Pace is nearing the end of his career. Uh, then they could use another defensive end because Leonard Little is nearing the end of his career. They could use a cornerback. But to me, if there's a quarterback at the top of the draft they're sold on, I think they got to take him because Mark Bolger, he's at the end of his career too. So a lot of needs for them. San Francisco starting to play better. We'll see if Mike Singletary uh, keeps that job. Let's take a look at AccuScore score for this game. 10,000 tests, 10,000 results, all mathematical, and they like the 49ers big time. I guess the computer thinks Mike Singletary has done a much better job than Jim Hazlitt. Charlie, well, you like San Francisco? I, I'm not, I don't know about that part, but I think I like San Francisco in this football game. As you pointed out, they're playing everybody tough and physical, and they've won some big games. Hey, they beat the Jets a couple weeks ago in San Francisco. So I think San Francisco can run the ball. I think they can throw it. They're more efficient there. I also think their defense can stop uh, St. Louis. St. Louis uh, wants to run Steven Jackson and hammer him. But after the first two games, they really have never got that formula into a consistent basis. And you see San Francisco, again, they play everybody down to the yep. wire. They're going to win this game. All right, we'll see how it all plays out for more on this one or any other in Week 16. Be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. Charlie Casterly, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.